Hello, and this is chapter 10, the mobile robot. We will learn about the history of the Totobot and the tutorial of the Totobot 3. And we will see why we are talking about the Totobot but not the other robots. Can you remember where you saw these guys? Yes, you saw this in Total Simulation Note and control these by Total Teleoperation Keyboard Note. They are showing each versions of ROS and are aligned in alphabetical order. We will see how they are named in the page behind. And here is the logo of the ROS. The logo was also come from the shape of the Totobo shell. There are some conferences previously held on various countries, and mainly in Germany and the United States. The participants were highly talented engineers and students around the world who are using the ROS or are going to use the ROS. These are the initials of the version. They start from B, the box total, C, the C total, D, the diamond bag, which is the shape of its shell, and E, the electric emis, F, the fuerte total, G, the groovy Galapagos, H, the hydro medusa, I, the indigo igloo, J, the J total, K, the kinetic kami, and L, the lunar loggerhead. And from the version J8, the newer Ross release day becomes the 23rd May in every year. The reason is in the World Total Day. Many engineers and the makers who are using the Ross are very busy to release or update their package in before the World Total Day. And you will be the same if you are going to make Ross product. Then why are they using the Total Stops every time, everywhere? There was a programming language called Logo in 1967. This language was developed for teaching the programming to the student, but for letting them know about the programming very easily. And the robot in the picture above is a total that uses the logo. And since ROS was developed also for easy programming of the robot, it uses the total as a mascot. Now, the Totobot is official ROS reference robot platform, and this platform puts intention point on letting who wants to study the ROS very easy to know. The Totobot series was started releasing in 2010, and it continues its series over time. The first series was based on Roomba Create for iRobot, but there were actually some points needed to be improved so the Thunderbolt 2 was made. This robot was based on the Kopuki from Eugene Robot. And in 2017, Thunderbolt 3 was developed to enable extension in hardware-wise, like the numbers of motors, the number of sensors, devices, and computers, and to enable modification of the firmware. The Totobot 3 are being sold in many countries, many schools, universities, and even the companies that want to add some functions and resell them. Bring your Totobot 3 and you will get much of information and tips for the best use. Now we are watching the Totobot 3 video. There are Totobot 3 Burger and Totobot 3 Waffle. As you can see, the robot seemed no finished goods, but let the users customize the sensors, motors, and controllers. The Waffle is a robot the four times bigger than the Burger. And there are lots of applications available via GitHub. The first is a Slam. The second is the Navigation. The third is the vision detection based autonomous driving. 
The fourth is the application of the manipulation layer. And there are gazebo simulation space available for the robot. The robot works as a real robot does with applications. And various shapes of heel, various shapes of the robot are available. Those were up to your design. Thunderbolt 3 hardware includes a 360 degree slider, the waffle plates for customizing devices, a Raspberry Pi which processes like a computer but is very small, an OpenCR board, two Dimex cells with fuels, and battery. The waffle structure is almost the same as the burgers, but it uses Intel Joule as a single board computer and includes especially an Intel RealSense. Since the waffle plate can be assembled as customized shape, you can make various robots. And the models of the following robots are fully open on the own shape, which is a cloud platform that can stuff and show the model. Those models were designed as 3D printable, so if you have 3D printer, don't hesitate to make one of them. Their hardware are accessible through following links. And their software also are provided. If you need information of development environment settings, access to the Thunderbolt 3 official wiki. There are many ROS packages for Thunderbolt 3. Let's check this and be prepared for the tutorial. To control the robot remotely, you should change their IPs. Modify those lines in bash RC files, respectively. For the Total 3 teleoperation, you should run the following launches. We will run Total afterwards, so we will skip this step. This is for showing model of the Tunnelbot 3 in Arbis. We will do this afterwards. When you launch the launch files in page 80, you will see the following graphs. In the left graph, it shows the node connections. The Tunnelbot 3 teleoperation keyboard node is connected with Tunnelbot 3 core node since the keyboard input sends the velocity value, and then the core moves the motor. But Thunderbolt 3 LDS node is not connected with them because the two nodes don't use the data from the Thunderbolt 3 LDS node. The graph on the right side shows the TF3. You can check if the model's TF are properly connected to the other parts. We will learn the SLAM and navigation in the SLAM and navigation chapter, so skip this step. So from now, we'll run Arbis and see if the robot that is teleoperated. Let's run the Tunnelbot. So from the beginning, export the Tunnelbot 3 model and ROS launch. Then it will run the Arbis showing a model of the robot in empty space. You can zoom in or out. And you can check if the model is properly drawn. If everything is going well, now open new terminal and launch the Tunnelbot 3 teleoperation keyboard launch. The key settings are W to the forward, X to the backward, A to the left, and D to the right. If you want to stop, press S. Then if you press the W, the linear velocity will be increased and the robot moves forward. When press the D, it will rotate to the right. The red arrow shows the odometry of the robot. It continues the update of the odometry. 
And where the arrow points ahead is the direction of the robot. So the 2D pose of the robot can be described with x, y, and theta. Let's play just a little bit more of it. Now this shows an XY orbit and if you want to change the viewpoint for example into the top down ortho do just like this so this will show the robots automatically on XY plane now let's focus on the model Click Automatry checkbox to remove the red arrows. What we are going to do is to see the TF of the robot. The TF is already in display. But press Add and click TF if you want to add TF display. But anyway, let's click TF and show them and just remove the robot model from the screen the bottom is called base footprint and the upper one is called base link there are left wheel and right wheel and the IMU and lighter are connected to the base link. Now let's move just a little. Can you see two hills are rotating? This is showing the TF. Left wheel and right wheel. So this and this wheels rotates. And the IMU and the lighter, all of them are moving because they are connected. And you can let it show the names of the TF. And you can change the color of backgrounds too. So we did this. Before making the real robot, we can simulate the robot like this way. We will learn the slam and navigation in next chapter, but let's see what they do. This video shows the slam and navigation simulation in gazebo environment. We will mainly use the gazebo. The difference between Arvis and gazebo is gazebo uses the physics engine. There are frictions, obstacles to make the simulation nearly as a real. The model in the simulation works as a robot. So you can use Turbo 3 Telepression keyboard node as well as the real one. And now this shows the slam. And Arvis is now showing as Gazebo shows at the same time. So these are the commands to do that. And this is what Arvis showed us. And these are the commands for doing slam. This is the result of slammed map. Left is a scene of gazebo simulation space. The robot does slam in this space. And right is the result of slam shown in Arbis. These are the commands for doing navigation. And this shows how the robot will move by navigation package. We'll run these packages in the next chapter.